okay let's do a quick check-in to see what is going on in the twin flame collective felt a bit of a shift in energy so we're just going to check in and see what is going on nine of pentacles this is someone who is single and starting to have fun so i feel like regardless of your situation whether you're in a relationship not in a relationship however you've been kind of like the last couple of days or weeks it really just feels like you're having more fun you're going to start enjoying yourself more even if you're in a relationship you're going to be having fun This is definitely a message for those who have been really, really stuck, just not enjoying the situation, just like feeling really trapped by what's been going on, just not feeling very sexy or fun or abundant. You know, that is changing and you are going to start having more fun. I really just feel like that has been a shift today. You know, there has been a shift into this lighter energy where, you know, the hard cycles and lessons are coming to a close now. Some of you have been listening to, to too many people um, you know like the whole saying like too many cooks spoil the broth or the whatever it is I can't even think basically there's too many people who've been telling you their opinions and um, it's been very conflicting and it's meant that you know you weren't able to trust your intuition because you were actually trusting other people over yourself you know you were really believing um, what they had to say about you, your counterpart, the connection, rather than just listening to what your heart said and what your, um, you know, your intuition was telling you. So I feel like from now you are going to start trusting yourself more. You're going to start trusting your intuition, and you're going to start trusting, um, you know, the divine and your your counterpart's higher self. Three of Pentacles is a card of teamwork, so I feel like collaboration and teamwork is going to be really, really strong now. Um, so if this is resonating with you so far, then know that as you stop letting other people whisper in your ear, as you stop letting other people try and guide you and start trusting yourself more, you will find that you know you and your counterpart's connection you become much closer, especially in the 5D, you're going to start really working closely with them to help bring this to fruition. Yeah, Ten of Swords, we have a huge ending here. A big ending of cycles. And this is like ego death. You know, look at the Ten of Swords. That's like complete... A complete I'm hearing complete collapse complete collapse of codependencies from for many of you that's what's channel uh, being channeled to me is a complete collapse in codependent behaviors codependent attachment attachments so that we can move into October with this uh, this energy being much lighter much more fun the teamwork and collaboration is strong like September has been full of ego deaths and soul retrievals and being told oh all those jumped out but I pulled this one and this is the magician time to start manifesting the life you want to live you know the magician is a card of new beginnings and new beginnings always come after the ending of this cycle you know this will not or this has not destroyed you you're going to come out of this so much stronger if you're feeling in this energy now of this Ten of Swords where you feel kind of like you've really hit rock bottom, know that you are coming out of this energy so much stronger. You're literally rising from the dead. Um, but you're going to be so much more in alignment because the Magician has all the tools to succeed. The Magician has, yeah, all the tools at, at their disposal um, really aligned with manifestation. So I feel like you're transitioning into this space where you can just manifest whatever you want for yourself. And notice I say for yourself, you know, where other people are involved, it's always kind of controversial and tricky manifesting. You know, I don't really believe you should ever try and manifest someone in particular because that goes against their free will. You know, you should keep this about yourself. Yeah. Two of Cups, you can manifest a harmonious relationship, you can manifest your life partner, but you just, you don't name them, you know, you say, just put it out there and say, you know, you would like to, to meet your life partner and to come into union with them when the time is right. 
Two of Cups. We're also moving into a space where, for those of you who have been trying to manifest your life partner or your twin flame, know that this is going to start coming to fruition. Someone's ready to bring their cup to the table. And you know what I'm drawn to here, which is so funny? Look at how this guy looks in this Ten of Swords. Doesn't he look so much like this person here in the Two of Cups? Very different to the other men in the deck. This person who has been through their ego deaths, hit rock bottom, is nearly or is going to be ready to bring their cup to the table. They are going to be bringing their cup to the table. You know, don't know when because it's going to be different for everyone, but they are going to bring their cup to the table. And it definitely looks like the, the feminine of the connection had a bit more time to prepare for this. You know, she had time to really get ready whilst the masculine was still closing out some of these painful cycles. The Fool and Four of Wands and Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Wow. This person, once they've closed out their cycles, is going to be taking a leap of faith straight into union. Returning. You know, this is a card of, of soul connections, um, very twin flamey card, but also returning. Someone from the past returning. And they're going to be transformed. They are going to have changed on a a soul level. It's like they're just going to be one day waking up and just taking this leap. I'm going to try and get a bit of a timeline. But it's like, you know, they are literally, they're just going to wake up, take a leap of faith straight into this relationship. You know, the fool is, is between, is like that, between the two of cups and the four of wands. No the fool doesn't really think. The fool, you know, isn't someone who is who's hesitating. You know, it's the fool just really takes that plunge. Someone is going to be taking the plunge to jump straight into a relationship with you. For some, straight into like moving in with you with the four of wands, because that's a house move. But definitely straight into a relationship. Not a lot of time getting to know each other, because I feel like you two have already known each other, already been in a relationship. You know, this is someone returning. Page of Cups, an offer of love coming in. Someone is getting ready to offer their love. I don't know if it's going to be a good offer. I don't know if it's going to be the right offer to start with. But someone wants to take a leap of faith into a relationship with you. Someone really does. They really want to take that plunge. But it's up to you if you believe this offer to be, to be right or not. If you believe the time is right for this to to, to to come together or if you think there's still more work to do for some of you you're going to be having so much fun being single you're not going to want a relationship i think this person is still opening their third eye they're still going through their awakening so when they make this offer they might still have a little bit more growth to do i'm going to get a clarify for this page of cups please the hermit do they need more time to mature or are they ready they're coming out of hermit mode i think it's it's going to be different for some of you you're going to have to decide if this person is ready for a relationship um, or if there's more of an awakening to do. I feel like this person has been so absent from your life for so long, um, either in no communication or just really, really distant. But you're not going to know. It's going to take you a little bit of time and that's why you need to trust your intuition rather than what other people are telling you. So one download I'm getting now is that this person might return to you and really want to be with you and other people will be saying no they're not ready the time isn't right but you will have known that in the time that you two spent apart they've been through so much transitioned into a completely different person and it is right to be in a relationship with them you know that's one message coming through however another one is that when you trust this person wants to jump into a relationship with you but when you really go within and feel your intuition you're going to realize that more time apart is needed you know let let your intuition guide you in this one because it is going to be different for different situations 
Yeah, Eight of Cups. Is their spiritual awakening complete? Is yours complete? Have you still got more that you want to do on your own? You know, not focusing on your counterpart, but focus on yourself. You know, have you reached the level that you want to be at? Or do you still have, you know, more of a journey to do? Nine of Swords, fear and anxiety has been in control of your mind, but that is coming to completion here as you, um, as we end September. You know, the end of September is going to see the end of a lot of really anxious and doubtful energy as well, you know. That's why you're going to be having more fun, because you're going to be feeling your intuition, trusting the guidance you're receiving, and not letting your ego or your head really take control. Okay, we're going to pull some messages from your counterpart. So let's see what your counterpart has to say to you. I don't mean to ignore you. Yeah, so they don't mean to, they need this separation. They don't mean to not speak to you. It's 11-11 as I said that. I know I made a mistake. You're my reason for everything. <laughs> You're the reason for my existence. You give me hope. We'll get two more messages. You know in your heart I am always there. And the final message, stop focusing on when. So, I hope you've enjoyed that reading. Sending you lots of love and light. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can do via my website. And you can also buy my counterpart message deck, which is 90 messages um, from your twin flame. Um, yeah, so I'll post the link to my website in the description box below.